Next, we're going to look at how dotted quarter note rhythms fit into the melodies that are on page 22 in your book. We're going to start by looking at number 112, All Through the Night. I suggest you get your book and follow along with the notation there as I build them with the Lego bricks. The first note we have there is a dotted quarter note, T-E-E. -E. The very next thing, as we said before, is very common is to follow with an eighth note, a single eighth note, because now we have an even number. And then the rest of that measure has a quarter note and another quarter note. So this is the first measure of all through the night. T E E T ta ta or one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and Okay, so you can pronounce that or say that using your syllables or counting, however you want to do that. So if we look at the first two measures of All Through the Night, we can see that the first two measures have the same pattern of rhythm, even though the notes or the pitches are different in each one. We have T-E-E-T-TA-TA, T-E-E-T-TA-TA. -ta. So each of those measures, if I take them and put them on top of each other, you can see that they're the exact same rhythm, just our finger combinations change based on the different notes. In the third measure of All Through the Night, we start off with a half note, and I'm just going to put two quarter notes on top of that, just to remind us that that's two full counts long. Ta-ah, or half note. Then we have our dotted quarter note, and a single eighth note after that because that's, if you look, that's all that would fit into this measure. Half note, T-E-E-T, -E -E -T. and then for the fourth measure, we can see that that goes on to a whole note for that whole measure. Okay, so those are the first four measures of all through the night.